you can create a new surface quilt by offsetting it a distance from another quilt or solid surface. Notice in the menu ribbon, however, that the offset tool is currently grayed out and can't be selected. This is because an offset reference must be pre-selected before starting the offset tool. We'll select this surface quilt and then start the offset tool. If you need to flip the direction of the offset, you can use the direction arrow in the graphics area or the button in the dashboard. To better see how the offset surface works, let's change to a front view and open the options tab. Currently, we're offsetting the surface normal to the selected surface. But if we offset the surface too far, you'll see that the preview geometry fails. To bring back your preview, edit the offset type to automatic fit, which will offset the surface along an axis to create an offset that is approximately the same as the original. This fit type is useful in cases where the normal to surface fit won't work. Next, we're going to enable the display of coordinate systems and then edit the offset type to be controlled fit. If we clear the X direction checkbox, translation in that direction will be prevented. Notice the difference in how the new surface's shape is maintained when you change the offset when translation along one of the axes is prevented. For the next offset example, we need to hide these two surfaces and unhide extrude 2. Remember to select the quilt first, then start the offset tool. Flip the offset direction and edit offset value to be 20. Then head up to the dashboard, open the options tab, and enable create side surfaces. If we click preview, you can see that the side surfaces were automatically added between the original surface and the offset. The offset tool enables you to easily create a surface quilt by offsetting it a distance from another quilt or solid surface and even create the side surfaces to create a closed volume.